Lakeland community, this is Mr. Holbrook, Assistant Principal at Lakeland. I hope you're doing great on this Saturday morning. Bienvenidos a nuestra reunión de pancakes de desayuno. This is our pancake breakfast. I know usually it's in person uh, in the cafeteria. However, uh, with everything being virtual, we still wanted to give you guys the opportunity uh, to cook pancakes with us. Uh, I still think it's super important para celebrar la familia que está en Lakeland so we can celebrate our family the that we have. Uh, and due to that, we are going to have a little helper this morning, which is my daughter, Mi niña que se llama Tegan. Say hi, Tegan. Hi, Tegan. She's going to help us out this morning. To get started, let's quickly go over what we're going to do. So to get started, we're going to look over our ingredients. Los ingredientes, por favor. Then we're going to look at our materials, los materiales. Then we're going to mix the batter. And this is where Tegan's going to come in handy. She's going to help us para mezclar las panqueques. Uh, after that, we're going to cook one plain, muy simple. Then we're going to cook one fancy with all the fancy stuff that you might have. Como un poco elegante. And after that, we're gonna eat and decorate them the best part. Just one note, please make sure if you're cooking with us today that you're cooking with an adult. Si esta cocinando con un adulto, por favor. Let's get started. Here are our ingredients that we are gonna to use today. So first, we have one box of pancake mix and we're gonna use one cup. So una caja de mezcla para las pancakes y van a usar una taza por la mixta. Uh, we're also going to have three-fourths cup of water, and you can get that water from anywhere that you have in your house. Um, so agua, un, we're going to use three-fourths a taza, so three-fourths of a cup, little fractions for you fourth and fifth graders out there. Then we're going to have some chocolate chips, syrup, and sprinkles, and we're going to use as many as those as you'd like in terms of how you want to decorate and create your pancakes. So chispas or chips de chocolate, jarabe for the syrup. Eat cheese bus and sprinkles. My wife likes to make unicorn pancakes, so we might go into that later as a little special treat. Uh, our materials that we're going to use, we're going to use a bowl, uh, a spatula to flip the pancakes, fit, flip the pancakes, so un, a spatula. Uh, we're also going to use a mixing utensil. I have a whisk. If you have a spoon or anything, that'll work just as well. So solamente un utensilio para mezclar. Yep. And then also, yep, thanks, thanks Tegan for joining in. And then finally, we'll have a measuring cup that we'll use and a frying pan. So una taza para medidora and también un sartén para cocinar las pancakes. So the first thing we have to do is heat up our pan. I'm going to turn the front eye here. Uh, en medio, como las cinco. So at middle heat. Um, I don't like to go super hot because it's going to make our pancakes burn. And we don't, no necesito quemar las uh, pancakes. So, First thing we're going to do after we heat up our pan is we're going to mix. Do you want the whisk? Yeah. All right, we're going to mix one cup yeah, of our pancake mix. Una mixta de pancakes. Here we go. So one cup into our mixing bowl. And Tegan's going to be our stirrer. Tegan's going to stir that up while I go fill this up with three-fourths a cup of water. Go ahead, Tegan. Make sure you don't make a mess over there, please. Got to make sure we're very precise when we look at our fractions, right? So really, that's not even to three-fourths. I might need a little bit more. All right. We got our three-fourths. Tegan's mixing around. Tegan, let's bring this over here. I'm going to slowly pour this in. No muy rápido. Slowly pour it in. Tegan, you want to mix for us? You want to start stirring for us, please? Okay, I'll do it. Oh, there we go. We got this. Now, we're going to mix our pancakes very, very slowly together. They're going to be a little runny. Um, muy similar de agua, like liquid, but that's okay. We, we don't want too many lumps in them. We just want to make sure that it mixes together. If you have to add more mix in or add more water to get the consistency that you want, that's okay. All right, we're getting there. Are we done, Teeks? You want to go? Okay. I'll give you about two, five more seconds on this part of our show. Good job, lefty. So we have our pancake mix fully together. You'll see that it's a little runny, but it's not too runny, and you can feel that it's a little bit tougher when you're mixing it together. So we're gonna pour a little bit into our pan here. 
Uh, you might notice, uh, yo tengo un poquito de mantequilla aquí. Si no tienes mantequilla en tu casa, está bien, no necesita. It's just a little bit of butter just so our pancakes don't stick. You can make them any size that you want. I'm just going to pour a little bit in the middle first. Just make a small little pancake to start. Making a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. If our camera woman can zoom in here on our pancake, we'll see the size that we have. Now while this pancake cooks, I'm gonna read some commercials from the Steam Center uh, from Mr. Francois, Miss Hazani, and Miss Elizabeth Garcia, and Miss Anna as well. Um, so I just wanna announce the Family Maker Workshop Series uh, that's coming up soon. So there's gonna be three events. There's a hand sew your per own personalized pillow with Miss Felder on April 8th, a pinwheel construction design with Miss T on May 6th, and what's for dinner? Let's cook together with Miss Amy on June 3rd. These are Thursday evenings at 6.30. You can do one or join multiple. Uh, Thursday evenings, uh, 6.30 is another time just to remember. All workshops are designed for an adult and child to do together. Uh, so ambos los padres al mismo tiempo. And will require both to participate. So it's muy importante que para asistir las clases que tienen ambos un padre y un, un estudiante. They will be offered in English and Spanish, support with visual cues, so son bilingües, and all materials, todos los materiales, are going to be provided for free, completamente gratis. Space is limited, so for more information, please register, uh, and I will share that link later on this video. Let's check our pancakes. You'll see that we have some bubbles here. This is what we want to see. The bubbles mean that they're starting to cook. I always find that the first one is always the hardest because you don't really know what it's gonna look like underneath. I'm gonna use my spatula, my spatula in this situation, to kinda of dig underneath to see if they're sticking. And I'm seeing that they're kinda of falling apart, so I'm gonna leave it there uh, for another minute to cook. Mr. Holbrook, you might wanna check on your daughter. It looks like she got into the chocolate chips. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to go put these in a place where she can't grab them. All right, now this is the hardest part, it's the flip. All right, so you'll see that we have a lot of bubbles. I'm gonna get the best I can underneath and kind of shake it back and forth. Uh, and as I flip here, hopefully on the first time it doesn't fall apart, but we'll see, you ready? Uno, dos, tres, yeah, perfecto. Okay, it's a little toasty on the other side. Um, now, as I look at this, you'll see that I'd rather cook it a little bit more next time. That's okay, we'll get there as the pan warms up. All right, so it looks like our pancake's done. Let's flip it over with a spatula, with our spatula one more time, see what we got. You'll notice, oh, perfect, little golden brown action here. I'm gonna leave it on the other side just for a minute, just because we undercooked that side a little bit, un poquito. All right, so let it cook. And then it's important at this time, make sure you have a plate that you can keep them on, so that way they don't stay in the pan and burn on you. So here we go, flip this over. Perfect golden brown pancake, the first one that we had. Now the next version we're gonna make is called unicorn style, where we're gonna add chocolate chips and sprinkles directly into our batter when we make it. So same process, you already have your batter over here. I'm gonna pour a little bit into the center, but make sure you have those chocolate chips, las chispas, están listo uh, para entrar en la mezcla, okay? So you can put them directly into the mix. Here we go. I'm gonna pour a little bit just like before right in the center of our pan, get that little sizzle. Now before it gets done on the bottom, I'm gonna quickly grab some chocolate chips. I'm gonna pour a little bit in the middle here, just a little random, get a little, Tegan likes it this way with some sweets, right in a little blend. Then I'm gonna take this unicorn style. We're gonna go a little bit of sprinkles in the middle too, okay? This is gonna bake into the pancake batter and make it fancy, como elegante. While this happens, I have another announcement from the Steam Center. Uh, if you are participating in Art Club at Home This Spring, please remember to email, text, or Instagram photos for the virtual art gallery to Miss Ana. Uh, si estás participando en el club de arte en esta casa este, esta primavera, recuerde enviar fotos para correo electrónico o por correo electrónico, lo siento, mensaje de texto o Instagram para la galería de arte virtual a Miss Ana. And also, need to do your taxes? Free UMBC Vita tax prep for Lakeland families. Virtual appointments are still available for Saturday, March 20th, between 9 and 3 p.m. For more information, contact Miss Elizabeth Garcia at 410-946-6003. Necesitas hacer los impuestos? Preparación de impuestos gratis, gratis de UMBC Vita para familias de Lakeland. Las citas virtuales todavía están disponibles. 
el sábado, el 20 de marzo, de, de la 9 por la mañana hasta las 3 de la tarde. Para obtener más información, comuníquese con Miss Elizabeth García a 410-946-6003. Uh, All right, let's check our pancakes. You'll see here that we have some nice bubbles. There's one here, un burbuja. That's right here, una burbuja. And you'll see this kind of like fanciness going around with this unicorn style. So let's, uh, no, I put my spatula underneath. It's not sticking, so I know that it's pretty ready with the bubbles. Let's see what happens. Cross your fingers at home. Look at that, nice golden brown unicorn style. And we'll let it cook for another minute. All right, it looks like our unicorn style pancake is done. And for unicorn style pancakes for you, Tegan, we have to have unicorn plates. So here we go, I'm gonna flip it over. Nice, you'll see there's a little bit of caramelization on the other side here with those cheese pasta chocolate. So I'm gonna put it onto Tegan's plate here. Perfect. And I'm gonna always remember to turn off my heat. Yeah, that's a pancake, that's what that is, okay? You'll see that's really hot, so be careful with your hands. Yep, Tegan, don't okay. touch. Now, this is the fun part where we get to decorate. Tegan, are you ready to put some chocolate chips on this or are you gonna eat it yourself? You're gonna eat it yourself? Okay, here, help me out. Put a few on there. Right on, put them right on there. Good job, she's gonna put some chocolate chips on the top. Then we're gonna, you want some sprinkles too? Sprinkles, all right, you ready? Some sprinkles on there. You want some syrup? Yeah. Okay, last thing, some syrup. How much you want? A little bit or a lot of it? In the, mid, in the middle, okay, she's very good at telling us what to do. Here we go. I like to do the swirl technique in un circulo como eso. And there we have it, unicorn style, unicorn style pancakes. And Tegan's already gonna start eating. Is it yummy? Yeah, yummy. Thanks for joining our pancake breakfast this morning. We hope you enjoy it. Stay safe in Lakeland. Y gracias para venir a nuestro desayuno de los pancakes. You wanna say bye? Bye. Bye guys. Tegan, are you excited to cook some pancakes? Are you excited? Let's go. Yeah?